Hello there, this is Anonymous Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Y'all, I, <laughs> I want to share something very interesting um, with you guys. Oh, I just got a message about a package. Um, so, hmm, interesting, the timing of that. But listen, so there's been a development in my intuitive abilities, okay? I've picked up on it a little bit, but then I got more and more confirmation. And yesterday, I got a very interesting confirmation, okay? So there's this thing that I apparently can do <laughs> that kind of creeps me out. Um, so I can film a reading for a client, right? And I can feel the reaction of the client before they even receive the reading at times. So it's almost like I can anticipate how someone feels as I'm saying something very in, in vivid detail. And it's just kind of weird because it's pre-recorded so so it's like in real time i'm sitting there and i'm explaining something and then i can just pick up on someone's energy before i actually sent it yesterday and i'm, I'm gonna just share this because there's somebody in in the pool of people that i read for in my collective on my channel there's someone who got very, very offended by something I said yesterday. They know who they are. Um, they're likely... Oh, I see a cat. Oh, it's such a beautiful cat. Um, cats are indicative of intuition, right? Mm. There's somebody here who got very offended by something I said yesterday. Okay. While I was saying it, it hit me so hard. It was like whoa i enraged i i angered this person by what i said and i had to sit here and think about it because it's kind of like let's say for example i said oh people who wear blue socks have stinky feet yeah if you don't wear blue socks you're gonna laugh about it and say oh that's random like you know you're not going it's not gonna land on you if you wear blue socks you could get offended does that make sense so yesterday I said, I said, okay, and I will repeat what I said because I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. I said, just because you're religious, it does not make you a good person, okay? Now, you can be religious, you can be spiritual, and if you know in your heart of heart that you operate in a good manner, you try to be a good Samaritan, a good person, you're not going to get offended by that statement. This person was so angered by what I said that's your telltale sign that something in that department maybe you need to go and reflect on. Because what just hit me right then and there, it's like I struck a nerve for this person. And I said, I can't imagine that I feel that person's either hatred, rage so strongly by what I said, that mid-reading, as I'm reading, it hit me so hard. I even, I don't know if you can go look back, I even cut the reading pretty short I, I i finished off with my karmic deck go look guys <laughs> if things trigger you you have to go and reflect on it you know who you are i don't know why you keep coming here but if there's something here that you can learn and sit and reflect on great okay i don't need that energy here i don't need it <laughs> i don't need it y'all it was so strong and then I pull on it because I'm like, what was that? I get the devil card. I get the five of swords. Very, very weird energy. Okay. So yeah, guys, readers, we are like sponges at times. Okay. Um, but that, that was, ooh, that was some, that was very special. It's never happened in such a, in such a big, it's like a, it's like a pool of energy. You know, depending on the views, right? Maybe I get like, what, 2,000 views, 3,000 views, four tops, right? So f imagine me sitting here and from the two to 3,000 people that might have watched that video, I feel one person's, mm, mm, yeah? I don't need that from you. 
I'm a sponge. I come here and I do messages for people who seek enlightenment, clarity, and go about their way. Whoever you are. <laughs> you, mm, yeah, mm, mm. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that was something special. So I want to get that out of the way. I really feel that you're here for a reason. I feel that... Um, there's something in there that you can reflect on. I, f I felt that person's rage, guys. It was very special um, and um, relatable, right? Like when something triggers us, there's something in there. There sure is. So I'm going to see uh, what's in the energy for us today. Yeah. <laughs> Five of Swords. Let's see who wants to come through for us, okay? A manifesting a general message for my collective <laughs> wow i've never i've never had that 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 was wild it's like why why watch me like i, I don't know it was really special it's like why are you watching me oh and it, it felt so personal too y'all it's like mm, i said Ross, who the heck was that that was very that was special okay <laughs> that was real special but it's true, you know, people can wear all kinds of hats in a day. It doesn't make you a good person, okay? It doesn't matter what industry you're in. It doesn't matter what field you're in. It doesn't matter what background you have. It, it mm. God knows our hearts, okay? For real, for real. God knows our hearts. Can I get an overall energy here for the collective today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. This could be reflecting um, a collective of people who people watch you. Okay, for some of you, you could be on social media because anything I mention is for a reason. Okay, some of you are fellow readers alike. This is a very this is a stalking energy, right? And I left the floor open <laughs> again. Mindful. I left the floor open for just about anything to come through. I said, okay, I got that spill out. Now I'm seeing the energy here. It sticks. People who watch me, you have to understand that it's like, and I'm probably gonna do a live on this so that people can understand how this works. If you come to me very often, I'm gonna start picking up on it. If you fit, if you keep frequently, it's gonna, it's gonna come in here, y'all. This is somebody who's, somebody here could be watching a person on the internet. Again, everything that I say is for a reason. This is a collective message. This is, the world can sometimes even be indicative of the world wide web for me. The page of swords is someone who's studying an individual, okay? Um, somebody here could be observing a person. Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> I want a general reading. Um, mm. We have the sun coming up funny. We have the Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. We have the Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, the Moon, Five of Cups. That dang page of swords. <laughs> that dang page of swords. And look who's peeking through. The Goat Man. I'm telling you right now, y'all. Mmm. I don't even know how to do this reading. This person's energy is so stead is steadily here. <laughs> okay. I might have to um I don't know, sage the place. I don't know what I can do. This person's energy needs to needs to get move along. Um it's very strong. It's here steady since last night. Okay, I don't know why, but it's like it's just hanging around. Whoever this is, mm. And it could just be a pool of people. This could be reflecting something you're going through. Because it just reads like a person studying an individual. Maybe people are studying why, why an individual is admired, okay? It's, it's an energy like, let's say you're at work and somebody is literally studying why somebody admires your work, why somebody admires you. I'm getting that here. It's obsession. It's building into obsession, okay? Crooked page of swords. This is somebody who doesn't really have nice things to say about whatever it is you do. There's something here about a person denying 
grievances. The moon is also a need to kind of seek the depths of oneself, um, uncovering things, okay? Uncovering what's really beneath the surface. The moon also speaks of illusions, okay? There's the King of Pentacles involved. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, or just a person of significance. With the Two of Wands to the Five of Wands, there's someone here who's trying to like plan for battle. Now, the Two of Wands is what do I need to do to fight? The Five of Wands is drama, competition, in intercepting in a situation. Whoever this energy is, right? And it's a collective energy. It's a collective karmic energy, if I can be specific. It's like, how can I best prepare myself to compete with an energy? People observe the person. They see what their weak points are. This, this, this is an energy that really needs to do a little bit of introspection because I don't like this. Okay, this could be multiple people, not just one, but there's one very strong one in this collective energy. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why this person will come here. It's like, mm -mm. but hey, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, somebody here could be a Sagittarius, a Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Leo. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I like, I like peace. I like peace and order, but that was really special, really special. This is somebody, I feel like spirit is calling me to talk about it so that this person can reflect a little bit as well. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Heavy Taurus energy, 10 swords. This is, oh my gosh, this person's energy is steady here, y'all. I don't know why. Oh, man. It's like, I can't, it's like, can I get a, I, I, mm. it's like, it needs to get out of the way. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this could be someone's, some someone part of a friend's group, okay? There's a card in my lap, Nine of Wands. Tower. The sun. <clears throat> this person might feel exposed. This person is going to have some kind of tower moment here. Now, a tower moment could just be like a shocking revelation. That's kind of what it reads like. Okay. There's also protection here. So for some of you, if this is an energy in your community, this is, could maybe be an ex-friend, an ex-colleague for those who resonate with a similar energy hoovering around them. Um you're being guarded by divine timing. So what does that mean? Let's say there's something that needs to kick off for you in an X amount of time. You're being guarded by the divine timing. It's almost like... It's like when something happens per divine timing, there is a waiting period. This waiting period could be months. This waiting period could be years. But it's in your best benefit that something is being almost carefully calculated in the ethers because there's an energy here who wants to intercept, okay? <laughs> Again, it's kind of like an energy that wants to push itself in a lane it doesn't belong in, yeah? It's like I, I can't fathom, right, pushing myself in another person's lane, trying to size up to them, trying to figure out, it's like, why, okay? Why? Why is that necessary? I'm seeing a reality check here with the tower. I am. I really am. There are multiple feminine energies here. Multiple. It's not just one person, but one person's energy was very strong yesterday. And it just couldn't be excused. I have a Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. There are multiple feminine energies here. That's how you know it's about it's about some kind of feminine com compet. It's just it's really unnecessary. It's really unnecessary. It's like <laughs> get up on out of here, okay? Mm. And I'm not I'm not afraid to illuminate it. This is my channel. <laughs> it's dead ass, y'all. It's like go. It's like, let's get it out of the way. This is going to be a very quick reading. 
All right, R.A.C. Hawk, coveting, keeping a close eye, studying and stalking. What did I just say? This is like a, oh, is this a surprise that I feel you this strongly? No, for real, let's, let's talk about it. Is it a surprise that I feel you this strongly when the hatred you spew my way was that strong yesterday because I triggered you? Isn't that what you come for? Enlightenment, clarity. Or are you just here to monitor my every move, my every thought? Yeah. Blessed forgiveness, set yourself free, release the past. Maybe somebody here needs to release the past. Maybe they need to release pain. Okay. I'm getting that. Strong, sturdy, durable, and unbreakable. I'm also seeing there's strength in someone's prayers here. Strength in prayer. There's strength in prayer. Somebody here could be a prayer warrior. You could be a prayer warrior. Divine feminine. Okay, because I'm really getting feminine energies. It's like a gang. I get this energy of a gang of people just hoovering over divine feminine energy. It's, it's just unnecessary. And I'm hearing there's strength in your prayers. So for a lot of you, if you are in a similar position where people are coveting over your energy, you have to imagine a white light to just ward it off. Because it's... I didn't find that fun yesterday. Uh-oh. I was like, ew. It needs to be gone. It needs to be addressed. And maybe if I shed a light on it, it stops. Because I promise you, if you keep coming here, I will keep reading your energy and I will keep feeling you too. It's not, it's not fun for anyone. So if you don't mind having a light shed on your antics, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then keep, keep it coming. Keep it coming. But if this is something that, you know, bothers you, move along. Because I don't need that. I don't need that in my energy. I don't need that in my spreads. Okay. I do not. I do not. I do not. Yeah, this person ain't happy about what I said. This is someone who was enraged about what I said. Something about this person feels like they're running out of time in some way, shape, or form. I don't know about what, though. dream somebody here could have seen something in a dream i know i dream a lot something about a dream this person has a lot of skeletons in their closet they don't like a dress and i promise you <laughs> i promise you okay uh hiding behind a fake account ain't gonna save you if you keep coming here i pro <laughs> I promise you, okay? This is someone who lies, and that's why they got triggered yesterday. This is someone who lies a lot, okay? As I said, just because you're religious, it doesn't make you a good person. <laughs> and whoever this is, what happened to thou shalt not lie? Okay, people can say many white lies, but this is a pathological liar who's lied about certain things that is really not done. And, and there's, there's nothing worse than someone who's very pretentious, hides behind religion, and lies straight through their teeth every time they get the chance. This could even be someone who lied on me, who lied on Divine Feminine. If you resonate with this, there's exposure in the energy. This is someone who's not happy. And I feel like this is a collective message because I'm also part of the, the collective at times, okay? Okay. It's like, I'll be reading things and more often than not, certain parts resonate with me too. But this year, this, the, the person who was so enraged yesterday, and it's like, it pierced my little bubble here. You're going to get addressed because I don't need that here anymore. I really don't. So if this bothers you, if this agitates you, if this, if this makes you feel a certain way, I hope, I hope it lands on you that it's because of you that this reading is here. Yeah. So that it can stop. Because I don't need that. I don't need that. 
this is my little, you know, I, I enjoy what I do. I love connecting with people. But that was really like, mm, it's like, it's almost like eating a pie, right? And then you just have this one little corner of this just zesty, bitter, like back of the lemon peel flavor just out of nowhere. I don't need that. I don't, I don't deserve to do that. And it's like, spirit is like, just call it out. Call it out so that it can be put to the wayside and this person can just stop. This person got very triggered about what I said yesterday. And it's like, let's just say it for what it is then. Because it's not fun for me either. <laughs> that, I was like, that I will not tolerate here. Okay. It's like, shoot. We have to protect our energy too. I'm not coming here to deal with that. Hopefully this will allow one to just release it and let it go. Any soul's journey lessons here for everyone involved? Can we get some divine messages here? Acceptance. This, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. Lack of acceptance, self-esteem problems. Which nobody's perfect, right? We all have certain insecurities, but it doesn't grant us <laughs> to be throwing all that negative energy onto other people. It, it no. Okay. Acceptance in the reverse is heavy set denial. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Right? This is a judgment-free zone, but at the same time, it's like, why do I have to deal with that level of evil eye over my energy? I do not. So unless you want me to keep sitting here <laughs> and have to do a reading like this again, you need to scurry on about your way. Control problems as well. Surrender in the reverse. I can release my need to control I'm hearing give it to God. Let go and let God. King of Wands in the reverse. This could be centered around also for some of you. There is a toxic masculine who could be coveting in, in one's energy as well. Um, a King of Wands in the reverse is also somebody who is unpredictable. Um, okay. It really is. I'm getting the same stalkerish energy with the King of Wands in the reverse. Why is this here? Eight of Cups. This is let go and let God. Somebody here could be very preoccupied with what another person is doing. Um, this could be a lover. This could be an ex. This could be somebody who checked out. I'm hearing the Eight of Cups is like releasing things, saying goodbye, releasing emotional attachments. This is so necessary. Okay. Knight of Wands. Eight swords. Mental entrapment. That brings me back to certain insecurities. Um, yeah. Judgment. Ace of swords. The truth. And communication. Mm. Any last words here? Page of cups. The Page of Cups speaks of like a heart-to-heart -heart at times opening up. The Wheel of Fortune is <laughs> a change of fate, okay? I'm almost, it's, it's in this energy too. This also reads like prayer. Whoever this energy is, um, I almost feel like someone feels like they can do good by maybe apologizing, okay? Um, seeking forgiveness with the divine. All right. <laughs> I like to look for silver lining in my things, but this is an energy who might want to reflect, okay? Yeah. I also get an energy that might have spoken ill over another person because they could have gossiped that someone here does black magic. I'm seeing the magician and I'm seeing five of swords. That's what I'm getting here as well. The Five of Swords is like manipulating something, manipulating words, trying to get the upper hand, and I'm seeing a magician. 
Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who could have accused a person of being a witch, okay? Yeah, the devil. And it's not true. Whoever this energy is also accused, I feel me, of being a warlock or a witch on a hill. It's like, all I do is preach against it. Why would I be messing in something that I preach against? No, but seriously. Get a grip. Hmm? I have never, and I will never, mess with that stuff. Get a grip. And get off my channel respectfully. All right? That's what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.